Hi, this is KB from KB Critters here. Prior to this episode, I went beetle hunting. I basically just sit outside and shine a light in the sky looking for beetles. Once I find a beetle, I shine the light on the beetle, and the beetle is attracted to the light, so it basically just comes to me. Anyway, as you can see, I've got quite a large catch here. I've got a Christmas beetle, some, I think they're rhino beetles, down here, and I've no idea what those two are. I've had, I've, I've seen them for quite a while since I was like seven, but I don't know what they are. Oh, also, see that teeny tiny one? I've got a few of them. Teeny, teeny tiny one. I like those. I don't know what they're called. I just call them gum beetles because they, they love to swarm on gum tree flowers. Anyway, I also, I also caught this, this hawk moth. It's, a, it's an Australian privet. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's the biggest moth ever here. There's my finger in the moth. So, anyway, yeah, the it's the biggest moth I've ever seen. The young, the larvae feed on small shrubs and bushes, and the adults just feed on normal, normal flowers, like a butterfly. So anyway, yeah, they... They usually take flight at night, and, yeah. So, I think that we could now have a look at it maybe outside of the box. Say hello, little mothy. Ha. Oh, it's the biggest moth. Why is it flying away? Oh, I find it easy to identify. You might be able to see the pink stripes on its abdomen. I find that easier to identify. It's Australian privet. The scientific name is... Uh, just read the name on the screen. Okay, so... I'm surprised it's not flying away. Before this video, I was dying to just take flight, but now it's just sitting there. Hello. As you can probably hear, we've had quite a few storms. You can, might be able to hear thunder in the background. So anyway, yeah, the beetles and the moss, they usually come out when there's, when there's a shower. It's the right time of year too, it's the warmer months. Anyway, these hawk moths, they live for a surprisingly long time. They live for seven months. It's amazing. A little moth. Well, actually, it's a little moth. It's a huge moth. Notice how the antennae, they, they look like a feather, sort of, if you zoom in close. Anyway, so, yeah, a butterfly... A good way to tell a butterfly from a moth, a butterfly will have small knobs on its antennae. It'll be like thread-like and then a knob at the end. But a moth will have like feathers. So as you can see here, I'm just laying all my beetles out on a white sheet of paper. They're all there and you can see how many I've got. It was a good catch tonight. It's funny though. All the beetles, all the different types, seem to have different personalities. Those littlish black ones, they they don't really fly around, they just walk around and try to burrow into your hand. It tickles and feels like a mole cricket. Those big brown ones, I still haven't found out what they are. And they just crawl around all the time. I haven't really seen them fly. As you're about to see, the Christmas beetles are really cheeky. Right. Oh. Well, yep, well, good. So come back. I've got my moth on my shoulder. Everybody stay. Uh. You could see it just fly towards the camera. Everybody was like, ah! Yes, it's funny. Sometimes I play pranks with them and put them in, like, my sister's room. Oh, and check this out. Thanks to the magic of video editing, I was able to make the beetle fly to the air and suddenly land again. It goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down.
Here is a close-up of a Christmas beetle. That one's more of a juvenile. The adults are much more shiny. They've got more bluey, greeny, purpley on them. They look much prettier. So anyway, yeah, the Christmas beetle just flew away, so all the beetles are now running everywhere. I'm over the other side of the room trying to catch the Christmas beetle. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to LCS, like, comment, and subscribe.